everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. So, I look so pale right now, so pale. Also, probably my little sister screaming down her Xbox. But, uh, filming this when it should have already been uploaded today. And, um, should also be revising for an exam I have tomorrow. But, you know, I literally don't know nothing, I just give up. Um... So, I'm going to be doing a video about why I will not be breastfeeding my baby. Um, I know this is a really controversial thing. There are a lot of people that don't agree with not breastfeeding. And a lot of people think that breastfeeding is the way to go and it's the only way to go. Let's change the camera around. But personally, I will not be breastfeeding and I have already made this decision. Even before I was... Even before I was pregnant, I knew that I never really wanted to breastfeed my babies. Um, and I'll ex be explaining that today just because I want it to be more normalised about people not breastfeeding. Because I feel like a lot of people still get a lot of hate for not breastfeeding their babies when it's totally fine, you know. So my first reason for not wanting to is purely my choice. And it is just the fact that I just purely don't want to breastfeed. That might sound selfish to some of you, but I purely just, it's just not for me. And I think if it's not for you, then there's no point even doing it. Like if you want to try it, go ahead. I, and I think if you are able to breastfeed, you are amazing, blah, blah, blah. But you're just as amazing if you don't. So my first reason is that I just, just don't want to. I literally just do not want to breastfeed. And obviously these there are the reasons that sort of go with this one of them being confidence um i just don't have the confidence to whip my baby out and feed my baby and i know it is not natural and everything but i just don't have the confidence to do that i just i just couldn't do it and obviously in public people still give you like dirty looks and they say things about you when it's just feeding your baby but you know, I just don't have the confidence, even in my own home, really, just to sit there with my boob out and feed my baby. I just, I just don't have the confidence to do it. And to all you women that do have the confidence, go you. Like, that is amazing. But I personally just don't. My next reason is that I think feeding a baby is really, like, a bonding experience. And I don't want to be the only one who has who can feed my baby. And that, that's not like a selfish thing or anything. That is purely that I want my baby's dad. Like I want my boyfriend to be able to feed his own baby. Like, I want my mum to be able to feed its grandchild. I want, like, if I want to feed it, like, it's a nice thing to feed a baby. Like, I love giving a baby a bottle. And it's a lovely thing. Whereas if you breastfeed you're the only one that can feed your baby unless you express but then then you know that's a whole other story but um you're like the only one that can feed your baby which can also put a lot of pressure on you because you feel like you are constantly attached to a baby and nobody else can help you um so i feel like bottle feeding um uh, it just it allows other people to have a bonding experience with your baby and for to you to have a rest. So, yeah, I, I want, like, my boyfriend and my mum and my sisters and to be able to feed my baby, not just me, you know? The next... Sorry, if I'm looking over here, I have a list. The next thing is that by not breastfeeding... It allows me to get more rest. And I know that sounds really strange, like getting rest we've just had a baby, but as in night feeds, um, if I was breastfeeding, I would have to do all the night feeds. Whereas if I'm not, my boyfriend, we can like alternate and like I could get up for one, my boyfriend can get up for the other. And work, it just works out a lot better to then just have me being able to get up and not my boyfriend you know when it's it's his baby too like he should have to oh, excuse me he should be able to have to get up at night too you know and if i was breastfeeding i could only do that um 
obviously it's not a big deal anyway like i don't care about getting up with the baby all the time but it'd be nice if i was really tired one night and i could just say look can you give the baby the bottle because i need to go to sleep and then obviously he'll be totally fine with that and anyways he's up so late every single night on his playstation um so he'll probably be awake anyway to give the baby the night feeds which is brilliant the next thing is that i feel like formula is like just as good as breast milk um obviously with breast milk you have the i've forgotten the name of it but the milk you have for the first three days the name is in my head but i can't get it out um that's like a thick cream obviously that is really good for your baby that that is like the best thing for them but two months down the line or like a week down the line when you've got your milk in it's just as good as giving them formula and um i just feel like formula is just as good now and i know formula can be expensive it's like 12 pound a pop but it's just my personal preference of what i want to do my next thing is that I want to make sure that my baby is eating enough and by breastfeeding I don't know how much they've eaten so they could have only had a little bit and then they could have literally only had a little bit but I don't know that because they could have just been sitting there latched on not drinking and obviously if the baby's hungry it's going to cry but what if it doesn't like what if it just does, doesn't want to eat um whereas if i bottle feed i can see exactly how much they're eating if they're under eating they're eating enough then i know um and then something can be done about it you know rather than me just not knowing yeah i just i really want people to stop judging people for the way they feed their babies like it's such a big thing like some people are really against breastfeeding and they think it's disgusting and it's wrong i want that to stop because that's horrible too but i also want it to stop the stigma that gets put on people who choose to bottle feed their babies too because they all they also get stigma saying like well that's selfish you should like you should do what's best for your baby when how do you know the formula is not best for my baby um even my midwife i was at my midwife appointment and she said like about breastfeeding and i was like i don't think i want to do it and she was like well sometimes you have to do things you don't want to do for your baby okay yeah you have to do things you don't want to do for your children but if there's a way around it where it makes me feel more comfortable and makes me happier then i'm gonna do it and i don't want to be pushed into breastfeeding I do not want to be push, pushed into breastfeeding because it's just not for me and I just I just personally want to choose to bottle feed so they're most of my reasons obviously I honestly I could talk all day about feeding and what I agree with what I don't agree with and all these things but I don't want to ramble on too much because this video needs to get edited and uploaded pronto because i still have so much revision to do for my exam tomorrow but honestly can't be bothered i literally cannot be bothered so yeah if you are new and it's your first time seeing me please make sure you subscribe because i'll be doing a lot more baby videos a lot more pregnancy videos my 16 week bump day will be out in a couple weeks in like well i'm 15 and a half weeks now so in about a week that should be out my gender reveal will be out also in about a week because i find out the gender a week to death so excited um and obviously baby hauls will be a big thing because i love buying the baby stuff so yeah also make sure to like as well and comment down below if you want to tell me anything or if you want to um suggest any video ideas because they are always helpful as well so yeah bye guys